As spring finally arrives, one of North America's largest caribou herds is on the move in Quebec. These pregnant females and their yearlings trudge north to their breeding ground in the Arctic through the frosty silence. The only sound is the clicking of their tendons sliding over the bones in their feet. On the western shores of Hudson Bay, this river estuary is also full of mothers caring for their young. Arctic beluga calves have little fat to protect them from the cold, and the water here is 10 degrees warmer than that out in the bay. It's a murky mix of fresh and seawater, but these belugas are friendly and swim right up to our camera for their close-up. As the days grow longer, mountain goats head down to a valley in British Columbia. The early summer greens have given them a bellyache, and they're here to find some relief at a salt lick. They self-medicate by lapping up minerals from the fresh water and on the rocks. These rufous hummingbirds have also made a stop to refuel at a backyard feeder in British Columbia. Weighing only a nickel, these birds are scrappy and stand up to trespassers twice their size. They've come from Mexico, where they spent the winter and are now on their way up north to breed, a 6,300 kilometer journey. As summer turns to fall, it's mating season for the moose in Jasper National Park in Alberta, too. This male has grown a magnificent rack of antlers to impress the ladies. 20,000 gannets have come to Bird Rock, Newfoundland to raise their young. The steep rock ledge is crowded with perching, diving, and squabbling families. Fall is nearly over and soon these fledglings will head out to sea for the first time. This young male bear in Churchill, Manitoba is waiting for winter too. He's come to steal a few food scraps from a sled dog breeder's yard, but he's distracted by our camera rig. He has a fearless curiosity and tries to explore it with his mouth. That's where his nose is. Polar bears have a very good sense of smell. As the winter finally arrives, 400,000 gray seals land at Sable Island off Nova Scotia. It's the world's largest breeding colony. Built for life in the water, these seals move awkwardly on land. In a few weeks, they'll head back out to the sea to feed. But they'll be back come spring to molt their old coat and grow a new one as Canada's yearly cycle starts anew.